Hey everybody, Miss Teacher here. We're looking at one of the release questions from the 2015 New York State Common Core exam. It reads, at a concert, 20% of the audience members were teenagers. If the number of teenagers at the concert was 360, what was the total number of audience members? Our best way to solve this is to use proportional reasoning. Let's set up a proportion. The numerator is going to talk about the part and the denominator is going to talk about the whole or all of it. Now in the percent world, if you have all of something, you have 100%. And they're talking about 20% of the audience members were teenagers. So that's 20%, that's 20 out of 100. Now if we take a look at this number 360, is that the all of it or is that the part of it number? Let's reread it again to try to figure it out. If the number of teenagers at the concert was 360, what was the total number of audience members? So we don't know the all of it number. We're going to put a, a, a W there for the whole. But we do know the part. We know the part's 360. All right, so we have a couple of choices for how we can solve. One is using cross products. But we might take advantage of the fact that 20 and 360 are, are compatible. Some people like to simplify the 20, but it's not necessary because you might realize that if we do times 18, 20 times 18 would be 360. So all we have to do is do 100 times 18 to get the answer, and you'll get one of these choices. Now, if, that, if you weren't able to figure out what this number was here, you could have always just proceeded with the cross products. If you did the cross products, you would have gotten 20 times w, equals, and then you would have done 100 times 360. Now we know that 1 times 36 is 36, and then you would have put on 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3 zeros. You would have divided by 20. Remember for every zero in your numerator you get to cross one out in your denominator, and this would cancel out. You would bring the w down. And we, all we have to do is do 36 divided by 2 and then bring these two zeros down into your answer. And that's another way to solve this problem. But I think um, using the shortcut here with the red, what you see here in red is probably the easiest way.